What is up, Karatex? In this video, we're we'll going to be talking about this week's Triple Money Event Week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. So, in terms of changes for this week, the Vetter is now officially available for normal purchase from the Warstock website. Keep in mind that it is a Pegasus vehicle and it sadly has no customization, so you can't even change the color of it. But, anyways, this event week is for January 28th through February 3rd, 2021. The current casino podium vehicle is the Grotti Cheetah Classic. So this vehicle is primarily based on the Ferrari Testarossa, with some styling elements of other Ferraris from the 80s as well. It released about three and a half years ago with the gun running update, and normally costs about $865,000. This car is in the Sports Classics class and is one of the best for racing in that class. It's very competitive with the Turismo Classic, and depending on the race, one might get better lap times than another. And in my opinion, the Cheetah Classic is a little more consistent and stable on steady tracks with bumps than the Turismo Classic. Plus, it also has a good amount of customization, a nice interior, and tons of detail. But anyways, for those of you who originally paid full price for the Cheetah Classic and are not happy about it being on the podium, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sell it for roughly $650,000, depending on your upgrades and how much you paid for it originally. So, is the Cheetah Classic worth attempting to win by spinning the lucky wheel over and over this week? I'm going to say 100% yes, it's one of the best cars in the Sports Classics cars in terms of overall track performance, plus it has good customization, it's a pretty unique and good looking car in my opinion. So starting off with the property discounts, we have 25% off the Kasaka Submarine, as well as 25% off the upgrades and renovations for it as well. So for those of you who still haven't purchased a Kasaka Submarine, I guess now is the best time to do it, I highly recommend it. It is needed to host the Cal Perico Heist, and for those of you who don't know, it is currently the best way of making money solo in GTA. In terms of upgrades for the Kasaka, I only recommend purchasing the Sparrow Helicopter upgrade and maybe a color. Everything else isn't really all that useful in my opinion. Moving on to vehicle discounts, we have 30% off the Strider. One of the worst motorcycles in the game in my opinion, <laughs> but it's also one of the most fun motorcycles to do stunts with. But even at this price, I still feel it's too expensive for what it is. Moving on to the Warstock website, we have 40% off the MOC, as well as 30% off the Weapon and Vehicle Workshop bays. These days, the MOC isn't really all that needed, but sometimes I still personally use the truck myself driving around in free mode because it can survive over 60 homing missiles which is just incredible. Next up we have 30% off the Ardent, so this car is in the Sports Classics class and unfortunately cannot be used in Sports Classics races. It doesn't really have anything special other than the machine guns it has at the front and there really isn't much customization on this car. But it's still a nice one to have and most people kind of forgot this thing even existed. Moving along, we have 40% off the Cargo Bob and the Cargo Bob Jet Sam as well. So for those of you wondering, the Jet Sam and the regular Cargo Bob are pretty much the same. The only difference between them is that the Jet Sam is a little quieter than the regular Cargo Bob and of course the obvious differences in the livery. But that's pretty much it. They have identical performance, so picking which one to buy is all personal preference. I'm pretty sure most of you own a Cargo Bob already. But if you don't, I highly recommend purchasing one for obvious reasons. Picking up vehicles is very cool and sometimes useful depending on the situation. If that's it for vehicle discounts, not too many for this week. I honestly expected more, but I guess we'll see what happens next week. In terms of triple money, we have triple money NRP on MOC missions. So these missions actually unlock you the trade price for the vehicle shown. I'm sure most of you have done these already, but if not, I think it's a great way to unlock the trade price of one of the vehicles you maybe want to purchase, while also making some decent money at the same time. In terms of double money, we have double money NRP on the adversary mode diamond. This is repeating from last week, so <laughs> I'm not sure why Rockstar did that, it does seem quite random to me. Moving on to the Prime Gaming Discounts for Prime Gaming members only. I'll leave instructions in the pinned comment on how to become a Prime Gaming member if you aren't one already. So we have the same ones as last week which are 70% off the Progen PR4. Now F1 cars in general are awesome and the PR4 is one of the best, however it's not the best as the Benefactor BR8 does get better lap times around most tracks. 
However, at this price, this is a very good deal for an F1 car in general. Next up, we have 80% off the Pegasio Cyrus. So this car is on the supercar class and used to be one of the fastest cars in the game when it released about six years ago. But obviously, a lot has changed over the past six years and we have tons of new cars that are a lot faster than the Osiris. But in general, if you want to have this car for the looks, I think it's a great price. And lastly for Prime Gaming, you can get the Sonar Station upgrade for the Kasaka Submarine for free. This upgrade normally costs about 1.2 million, and getting it for free is pretty awesome. Also don't forget that just for logging in this week as a Prime Gaming member, you will get a free $200,000, which is pretty cool. Again guys, if you don't see a discount on the PR4 or the Osiris, it's because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again, all the information on how to do that is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly, you have, of course, the Rescue Bandito Time Trial Little Soul Park. This week's normal time trial is Kalafia Way. I highly recommend either the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, or a Batty 801 for that time trial. Now, there is a little trick you can do to make this time trial a lot easier, and I'll be showing that in the time trial video series I post every Friday. This week's premium race is the Sports Classics Race Crossing Pass. I highly recommend either the Cheetah Classic, Turismo Classic, Retinue Mark II, or the Rapid GC Classic for this race. Again guys, every Friday I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. This event week really isn't all that great if I'm being honest. We don't really have a good quantity of vehicle discounts, and the double money is pretty bad as it's just repeating from the last week. And this week's drip feed vehicle is a Pegasus vehicle that cannot be modified, so... Really overall not that great of an event week, however I will say that the podium car is pretty good, but other than that, it's not that great of an event week in my opinion. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.